Hey everybody, it's been a while, uh, other than the, the Tuesday night uh, live streams, I haven't posted any video uploads in, what, weeks. <laughs> oh, and part of it is I've been focusing more in writing, part of it is I'm feeling fat and don't like to see myself on camera. I weighed in at 227.4 today. I've been as low as 219 in the last 30 days, but uh, I just got back from a trip down south where I hung out with my kids and we ate frozen pizzas and jalapeno, you know, oh, what do you call those things? The poppers, the uh, breadcrumb wrapped, you know, junk food, pleasure food, fun food, and beer and uh, liquor and... So, the pounds are on. I think I'm going to fast until Friday of this week. So this is Tuesday. I'll fast Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, see what I weigh on Friday. And I don't plan to post these, these little updates daily. I'll just keep a log of them, and I'll put them all together and put up one video on Friday. <laughs> but i got to start doing this regularly, because my body shape has changed here here's a picture that i asked somebody to take of me i was going to send it to rose and then when i saw the picture i was like well one you know my face is beat red what's going on with that and two man i just look huge <laughs> so you know my t-shirts aren't staying tucked in um there's just no denying it so fasting i've got my uh, got my snake juice going you know, the first day is usually the worst in terms of wanting to eat. Uh, second day, it's mostly gone, but the third day, right on. So I'll just have the one third day. Fourth day, I think I'm going to start eating again, but who knows? Maybe I'll get really inspired and do like five days, but I'm not, I'm not going to do more than five. I'm pretty certain. <laughs> okay. More tomorrow. Hey, everybody. So it is Tuesday, no, it's Wednesday, Wednesday morning. And I lost a full five pounds yesterday, but the first day is, is such a gimme, you know, you, you don't lose five pounds a day on a fast. Uh, that first day is just everything that was in your digestive tract is, you know, by the second day it's out. So that's all, that's all gone. I weighed in at 222.4 today, down from 227.4 yesterday. Um, what else to say about that? Really, not a whole lot. Um, it's a beautiful day outside, which is why I'm shooting out here. It's 61 degrees Fahrenheit. That's beautiful for July. Uh, it's not July, though. It's June. It's almost July. Anyway, I'm about to walk to the post office and pick up a package. So, I'll check in again tomorrow. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so, day three of the fast face look any different? <laughs> uh, looks different to me. Anyway, 219.4 pounds this morning. So down eight pounds <laughs> in three days. Now, here's the thing. Fasting, you don't lose three pounds a day, five pounds a day fasting. I mean, maybe the first day or the second day, but thereafter it slows to a crawl. So actually... I mean, I've been meaning to get back, getting, I've been meaning to get back into fasting for a while now, uh, but really it was the Lex Friedman interview with Charles Hoskinson that really prompted me to, to jump on it today. That and the fact that I was just feeling really fat <laughs> after my trip down to see my kids. Um, he mentioned that three to four days is like the optimal length for a fast because thereafter, you know, you start, some say, this is controversial. I'm, some say that you start to lose muscle after, you know, four or five days of fasting. And um, I, I did a seven-day fast a couple years ago, and I don't think I lost any muscle on that. But then I did a 10-day fast, and I definitely felt weaker. And I saw that, you know, my arms and shoulders were smaller uh, after, you know, the 10-day fast. So I'm not up for another 10-day or even really a seven-day at this point. But uh, three days... It seems to be, I mean, that seems to be the, the benefit, like in terms of weight loss anyway, that the front-loaded benefit, well, it's front-loaded. It's up there at the front. You get it right away in terms of weight loss. Um, 
the longer you stay on the fast, the more your body adjusts and doles out the calories very slowly. So um, not sure when I'm going to do another one. I'm thinking Tuesday through Thursday every week might be a good schedule, you know, at least until I have access to a gym again. <sighs> All right, well. There's one more way in. This is my last full day without food. I'll weigh in tomorrow morning, and then I'm going to have a cup of yogurt. <laughs> and then, later on, I'll walk down to the drop-in center, because uh, on Fridays they have their regular meal, plus they give you a uh, restaurant-prepared meal. So, I never miss Fridays. <laughs> I certainly won't be fasting on Fridays. But, got to be careful about the, uh, the refeeding gluttony. That's been my downfall in the past. I tend to gain back the weight from a fast pretty quickly because I'm so happy to be eating again. But maybe, you know, with a shorter fast, like a three-day fast, that won't be such a big deal. Or I can just write down in advance what I plan to eat on the day that I break fast and no more. All right. I'm out. Hey, hey, here we are, Friday. So, final weight, 217.8, down from 227.4. So, nine and a half pounds in three days. <laughs> it's possible. Now, I'm going to gain gain some of it back over the next few days. No question about that. Uh, but, I think I'm going to do this again next week. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And as long as I'm feeling good, I'll keep doing it every week. All right, and now to break the fast, I'm going to have some yogurt with some flax seeds and some psyllium husks. Fiber is important. Hmm. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm actually not a huge fan of the flavor of the flax seeds, at least not in yogurt, or at least not in this um, black cherry yogurt. But it's supposed to be good for you, so I eat it. Mm. So at 11.15 or so, I'm going to walk down to um, the drop-in center, get the Friday meal. It'll be good. I will include it in this video. So, for you, it'll be in just a second. What do I got here today? Some prepared meals. <laughs> Look at that big box of donuts. I could take that. I could just walk away with that, and I'm not gonna. Wow. Garbanzo beans in bulk. Pumpkin spice marshmallows. And we'll take some corn. Alrighty, so, I took... Chilled meal, keep refrigerated, sweet pork, no, sweet and sour pork with rice and vegetables. Consumer discard by June 28th. Also, chilled meal, keep refrigerated, chicken a la vodka with penne pasta, Italian vegetable blend. Consumer discard by the 27th. All right. And from Jamaican Jewels. Stew beef served with fluffy white rice, mixed green salad, Beef provided by Live Water Farm. This will be the gem of the bunch. Got the corn, as I mentioned, and... Ha-ha! <laughs> Taco salad. Right on. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> okay, so I've eaten not all that food that I just showed you, but... Uh, I ate the taco salad, and I ate the Jamaican Jewels meal, which was pretty pretty light. There's some rice with it, so the rice is probably what my stomach is chewing on right now, uh, but also some nice stewed beef and just lettuce. Uh, not much in the way of vegetables in that one. And I had uh, some of the corn that I showed you, and while the Jamaica Jewels stuff was in the oven heating up, I had a uh, protein bar. <laughs> right, I'll show you what they are. So, as you can see, they're pretty small. And I got a whole box of these at the drop-in center last week or the week before. So these are uh, macro, macro Bar Mini, Everlasting Joy, coconut plus almond butter plus chocolate chips, vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, let's see, 100 calories, 35 calories from fat, 
Total carbs are 13 grams, protein 4 grams. So not keto by any stretch, but also pretty small. So before, I don't know if it shows on camera or in my voice, but when I was uh, talking, I was excited about going to eat food. And I was, you know, I was, I was bright. I had this, this clear, clear energy. And now I've walked down to the drop-in center and back home, which is, you know, it's, well, let's see, I've taken uh, 3,117 steps today, most of them on that walk up and back. So it's not a it's not a huge walk, but it's enough to get the blood pumping. So, you know, I should be, again, bright and alert, but um, I ate the food like 20 minutes ago. I finished, stopped eating about 20 minutes ago, and I can definitely feel my stomach pulling resources from everywhere else in my body, particularly uh, saying, okay, the work is down here right now. <laughs> Don't try to write... Don't try to draw. You can blab into a camera if you want, but, uh, you know, you don't have full steam upstairs right now. Not until this meal is digested. But as soon as I get this edited, um, actually, maybe before I get this edited, I'm going to walk to the grocery store, pick up some cream for my coffee because I've been going creamless and I do love my cream and the coffee. Uh, what else am I going to get? And I think I'm going to get some potatoes and some cabbage to make a nice soup for the weekend. And probably some seltzer. All right. That's my, I'm, I'm eating. I'm buying food and I'm eating now. <laughs> After three days of not eating. <laughs>